All right, family, Periscope family, bless you. How are you doing? Bless you, bless you, bless you. This is the Master Prophet. We're going to get ready and get started here. And um, we are going to have it going on. Have it going on. So some great things are going to be happening. And we are excited. We're going to be joining the kitchen with the chef. We're going to be talking to you momentarily. So go ahead and swipe. So if you want to know about some good cooking for fasting and what it is that you can um, have going on. And um, we have the, y'all get ready to leave now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on. This, okay, this is Delia and Victoria. Hi, so y'all are he headed into the city. Yes. And we're gonna be doing um, the fashion today, right? Yes. Y'all excited about that? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> All right. Well, y'all have a blessed day. How was y'all breakfast this morning? Awesome. 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 Love the chef. Y'all love the chef? Yes. All right. Okay, follow them on Periscope. Delia, what, tell me your Periscope. Scorpio Love 5, L-U-V-5. And your Periscope? It's V-Turner, 1116. All right. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Bless you. All right. Okay. We're going to get, and they said we'll follow. Just a moment to um, bless you, Elder D. Grant. Bless you. Glad to see you. Amen. Glad to see you on. Be okay. Glad to see you've joined. Blessings to you, 4406. Give me your name, Kendall. Bless you. Reading Gatsby. Give me your name, Reading Gatsby. I know I know you, Teresa Jetter. Bless you. Faith Martin, thanks for sharing us. Vita Rome, bless you. I know you had a great time yesterday with Bishop Ellis at your church. T. Hobson, bless you. Thank you, Kendall. Thank you. I count on you always inviting your followers. Thank you, Jay Hilton, for sharing and inviting your followers. Bishop, you look well rested. Antoinette. I thought that. Okay, Antoinette, and thank you. I am well rested. I slept for about 10 hours. Uh, thank you, April Love, for inviting your followers. Thank you so well. Thank you. Teresa, thank you for inviting your followers. I know that's Antoinette um, John, probably. Antoinette John, is that you? T. Hobson, 12. Thank you for inviting your followers. Okay, we're going to get ready and get over here with the chef in just a moment. And so, let's see. Well, first of all, what's for breakfast? What's for my breakfast? I'm breaking my fast for today, which means it's a breakfast. Every morning you wake up, you break your fast. But we're still on the 21 days of fasting. No, it was, we are 21 days. How many days is in there, brother? 23 days. 23. So we're going to go 50 days up to yes. 50 costs. Hey, these shop will go up. Yes. 50 days. And we're not saying that because we're looking to go up the fast. Honey, this can really be a lifestyle. Yes, it is so easy and so much healthier. I'm sleeping better, resting better, I have yeah. more energy. And I'm, and I'm full. I'm not hungry. It just feels wonderful because I know I'm giving my body what's it need live food. Yes. And no junk food. No junk. Well, you know, Bishop Wilman says you can't put food and junk in the same thing. No. It's, it's not going to work. We're not eating no junk. It's true. But we are now eating for real food. Real okay, food. Chef, I see you're anxious to get stuff moving here. So, what do you want to start? Do you want to start with the breakfast first or do you want to start with what you've just done here? We can, we, we can well, start with We can go, go on uh, chronological order. You want to go chronological order? Okay, so what do we have here? So. I had made you some oatmeal today. This is oatmeal? Yes. Okay, so we gotta heat this up. Yeah, we gotta heat this up. Okay. So, what I did with it was um, I made it with macadamia milk and I added some nuts and we had um, coconut flakes over it. Just sort of put um, some flower seeds and golden raisins in it. Okay. And I got some cherries in there. So, I'm gonna get my protein and everything. So, it's half more protein and um, the most important thing to remember about the fat is. You have to replace the proteins. You know, if you if you if you were used to eating meat for your proteins, you have to find a great way to supplement. So peanuts is the best way to do it in the morning. So we give the peanuts to Bishop all the time. Um, walnuts is for the brain. So the bishop is always invigorated with new ideas. So we try to keep that going and keep it sharp. All right. Okay. Great.
So, this is the breakfast on a daily fast, and this is made with, uh, is this steel cut oats since this morning? No, we made it with um, regular whole grain oats. Whole grain oats. Ooh. Excellent. Yes, thank you. Um, what I did was to supplement the sugar, um, actually put the fruits in the oatmeal so the fruits could extract from it while it's boiling. No, I was wondering how you got the sweetness there. Yes, so all the sweetness is extracted from the fruit during the, the cooking process. I probably can't even use regular sugar now because I've been off the sugar for about like 23 days. It you would feel it. I would feel it. Yeah. Feel like, it would feel like a high, like I was sitting in a bar. Yeah, you, you, you feel a little rush, a little little jolt of, of, of bad energy because you crash. It, it's, it's, it's just wilding you out. Wow. It will keep you with a steady flow that it's supposed to keep you. Okay, so what's for lunch? All right, so lunch, you want to start off with the salad right here. This is the garden salad. What I did was I chopped up some onions, uh, cucumbers, we also put some black olives in there with organic Italian dressing for you to cover that. And I also put walnuts in there to supplement for the proteins. Once again, you know, certain peanuts you eat, it, 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 it enhances the flavor because uh, all the ingredients could combine with it. And it's almost, it's almost like a crouton. So that, uh, that's why I replace croutons with nuts. Mmm, I like that. And for the, we have the vegetable stir fry. I made it with orange. And this is for lunch? Yes, this is still lunch. I'm still having a hard time eating all of my lunch. What's going on? Well, you know, you're, you're eating, you're eating um, healthy, um, whole grain food. Like the, the food is, 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 is nourishing. So it's not like uh, it has chemicals in it. Some of the chemicals that they put in regular foods, they, they um, induce you to be hungry still. So, you, you know, you're getting the live food, you're getting super food. Yeah. You know, so, you're, you're, you're getting super food for lunch, super food for breakfast, and super food for dinner. So, what kind of rice are you doing? This is brown rice. So all, all organic from India. Brown rice from India, and we are getting, and we have broccoli in here, broccoli, and bok choy, snap peas. Um, um, tomato, cherry tomatoes, and orange glazed sesame um, sauce with no soy. That's that's what brings out the flavor in it. So we use that as the glaze. All right. And I'm, I'm gonna have to pop this in the oven. And what is this? This is the sweet potato lasagna. Same one I made like uh, a couple of days back, but this is different. I packed it in with fennel, and um, it's, this is what it looks like before it goes in. And in about 40 minutes, we're gonna see what it looks like when it's ready. Okay. Pop this into the oven? Yes. So we're gonna, we're gonna let that sit for 45 minutes, let all the ingredients ferment, and it's gonna, it's gonna um, be such a delicious dish. Because what I did was, I pre-fried the fennel, and I seasoned it, so, um, in my mind, that's, that's like a sausage to me. I made it like this was a sausage. So, it's gonna taste very, very, very good. It's gonna taste like there's meat in it. So. So you're gonna have the sweetness as well as the savory. Yeah. Excellent. And it's, uh, no cheese, homemade marinara sauce, sweet potatoes, and um, the fennel and the, and the, and the um, uh, what is it, peas? Yeah. Peas, green peas. peas and a little bit of shallots and I pre-fried a little bit and then layered it in, put the sauce first, put the potato first, put the fennel and the peas and then put the potato back on it and then layer it in with, with sauce. So it's a beautiful dish. And is this dessert today? Dessert. This is this more than dessert. This is this is this is this is all day. <laughs> so you can have it for, for appetizer, you can have it as a dessert, you can eat it all day. You know, this is this is beautiful stuff right here. This is this is the junk food you should be eating every day. So food, dessert. this is good food. Yes, this is beautiful food. Now 
there is something that's called eating the rainbow. They said every day you should make sure that you are consuming the rainbow. So all of the colors that are in the rainbow, you should be eating it. So you got the green, you got the red there, yellow in there, and but now you're starting to see the rainbow. This brings light to the body. And not only that, it's the consistency. You know, it's, it's every day, it's, it's a lifestyle. So you're feeling the benefits and you're feeling the effects of it. And that's the key to it, the consistency. You're always trying to do something and, to the best of your ability and master it. Wow. The bishop is eating better than Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons ain't eating like this. You don't know, tell you that Russell Simmons is eating like this? No. You don't know how Russell will eat. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you're supposed to trust me. <laughs> he might be, you know, he's vegan. Russell's vegan. I know. And Russell gets his leg behind his head. That's all for his daddy. Right. He does yoga every morning. He I know Russell. I've been in his home, I've been in his apartment. I don't know. Russell. Russell had not been there an animal, and we used to argue about it. I said, Russell, if God didn't let you eat meat, he wouldn't have given you these K-9 teeth. <laughs> 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 yes. But we, we put in soul and love into it. We put in the same principles that we put in southern cooking into the vegetables. And um, we puree and, and use all the fine ingredients down to the science. So it's just a beautiful blend. Fruit, fruits and vegetables and spices and herbs. You know, I never used to eat oatmeal. But I am really enjoying oatmeal. And this is a good carb, isn't it? Yes. It um it's not a good carb, good protein. And it just makes you feel energetic to want to do some some physical activity. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go down to the gym in a little while. Yeah. All right, so what's going to happen? Do you have something in mind for tomorrow? Uh, that's going to be a surprise, you know. Now, did they make any special drinks for today? Yes, we do. We have here. I have something special for the bishop today. It's a bright, beautiful day. So this this is reflecting like the sun. There's no citrus. No citrus? No. This is mango peach lemonade. This is amazing. Prophet told me you need to taste this. <laughs> oh my god. How's your sweetness? Um, Naturally. With the mangoes. The mangoes are that sweet? Yes. Very nice. Very refreshing. This is like, this is crazy. It's and it's sweet. If you don't need any sugar, it's natural. And that's what you yeah, want. The sugar's from the peach and the, and the mangoes. So what you have, peach in here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And mangoes? And mango and lemons. Did you just add water? And the, the filter water. Filter water, wow. This here, we should put this on the market. <laughs> yeah. And this is no citrus, he said, Pastor. Right, wow. The balance with the other foods. Citrus free. Citrus free. This is amazingly great. I'm mean, giving the recipe again so that they know how to make it. It's mangoes, ah! it's, um, peaches, and lemon, and um, distilled water. The best water on earth. They don't want to tell you that. They want to tell you just for machines. But machines can't operate with dirty water. Wow. This is great. Well, thank you, Chef. You're welcome. All right. How are you doing, CJ? Yes, good. How, how are you enjoying New York? Oh, that's all good.
It's all good. This is CJ Turner. For those of you that were not listening for him mm-hmm. yesterday, um, this is um, Apostle Turner's eldest son. Yes, sir. The only eldest son there is. <laughs> Let me make that clear. You're the, you're, the, you're, the, you're the legitimate eldest son. Oh, you know, definitely so, yes, sir. You're the legitimate. <laughs> There'll be a lot of people that say, well, like you said, they're the eldest son. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm the real deal. He is the, you can't get no more real than this deal. No. So, what else did y'all do in New York yesterday? Well, um, besides, besides sleep. sleep. Besides sleep, <laughs> definitely, right? I took John to uh, Times Square. It was his oh, first. Cool. It's actually his first time to New York. So I took him to Times Square. He loved it. He loved right. It. He had a good time. I'm glad. I'm glad. So, so that's good. How y'all enjoying up the tuxedo? Oh, it's perfect. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have a good time. We met all the uh, well, just about all of your uh, grandchildren. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, really nice. Kids. Yeah, you met a nice group of them. But there's mm-hmm. another group. You, you didn't meet Bethany's children. I didn't. I haven't met Bethany's children. Oh, with her children, you better be able to. You're going to know that this mm-hmm. is this is the Jordan plan. <laughs> this is the table of turning. <laughs> yes, the table of turning. And so you met Joshua yesterday. Yes, yes, we met Joshua too uh, um, yesterday. And uh, as soon as we get back on this evening, you're going to meet up and hang out some. So. Oh, okay. yeah. so Joshua is the new one, baby. I didn't. I didn't. I think I didn't get a chance to uh, speak to Betty. Uh, the baby was asleep. The baby was asleep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully. Yes. Well, that is the that's good. How's the temperature? But is it cool in tuxedo? Because you know, they're from the mouth, so it gets like a little ten degrees cooler. You know, what? the weather is just right out here. It's totally opposite of Chicago. And I'm sure the, the people that are tuning in, they definitely know what I'm talking about. So, mm-hmm. yeah, the weather, the weather's perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Well, you just met your sisters. They just ran out the same mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. And um, I should have checked. Are they driving? They are. They are. They're, they're driving to New York now. Okay. Well, they have to find a parking garage there on the way. Mm-hmm. So you're going to be hanging out with us today? Yes, sir. But I'm going to go out to the gym and work out. Oh, wow. I'm in. I'm you're in? in. If you need a pick-up workout, buddy, I'm, I'm in. Well, we're going to go down to the gym, right? <laughs> now I'm going to get my workout in. So far, I'm doing good. Today's my fourth day this week. I do four to five days. Five days. I try to work on five days a week. So today is upper body. Yesterday was lower body. Oh, I need that, too. I need that. Yeah, okay, you. You feel different. So have you had your breakfast yet? To be honest, I have not. I have not had my breakfast. I've just been... You haven't had no. breakfast, no lunch? I have had no breakfast. Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> chef, what do you have for him to eat right now? Yeah, Help me, Chef. Uh, I, got, I got stir-fried vegetable rice and I got um, salad. Right now. Oh, right now. Oh, Let's so, go. So, so... <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you. Okay, so let me um come on over here. And this is Tulu, the one that's filming. <laughs> so if you want to follow, if you want me to follow you so you can speak. Uh, so Faith Martin said he looks like he needs chicken. Who? Faith chicken? Martin believes that you I need really chicken. chicken like Faith that. Martin, why do chicken? you think that he needs chicken? Do you like chicken? I mean, do you like a lot of meat? Not really. Not, not really? really. Uh, just turkey and fish. Just turkey and fish? Turkey and fish. Okay. That's oh. Why do I need chicken? Faith Martin says, <laughs> hi, Tulu. Huh? Why do I need chicken, Faith? Um, well... What, I ain't, I ain't buff enough? Uh, <laughs> no, she says, Faith Martin, he said he looks big. <laughs> All right. Okay, so she she thinks you consume a lot. Do I? Uh, yeah. Faith Martin, she's definitely one of your loyal uh, viewers, too. Yeah. Every time I'm on, I see Faith Martin. Okay, say hello to Faith Martin. How you doing, Faith Martin? <laughs> She's out of Arizona. Oh, wow. Easy. Wow. Yes, yes. All right. Ready, family. Um, and Faith Martin says, you know, she was going to school to be a doctor. She says, um, men do consume a lot. Yeah, that may be so. Now, this says, is the chef exclusive? I didn't get that. Um, Last part there. Let me get my drink here. This drink is dangerous. This this drink will be gone soon. All right. So, thank you. Um, Vita Rome makes us all hungry. We need chefs. Yes. And um, Bishop, you're eating good. Yes, I am. Stands true to my fast. Thank you, Faith Martin. It looks good. 
Master Prophet. Chef needs his book out. Book out. What you gonna say about that? You gonna do a cookbook? Yes, in the works. Oh, we're getting the proper um, energies together. It's gonna make sense. We'll put all the bishop's favorite items on there, and um, we just wanna discuss everything that we learned throughout beyond Daniel fast, just just healthy eating in general. Yes. Okay, we got um, Kenneth just coming. Hey, Kenneth, how you doing? How you doing, Bishop? I'm doing well. How do you think? How's how's life going? Life is fantastic. What's happening with Blue Royal? Yeah, a lot of things are happening. You know, it's just uh, it's just a one roller coaster ride after the other. And uh, you know, due to uh, power of prophecy, we actually in March, the prophetic word was, you know, there's going to be some successful stuff in the month of March happening with Blue Royal. And if I would be in California, well, just want to give a praise report. I did not physically go to California, but my frozen idea did. What? <laughs> and so that frozen idea was Blue Royal Spirits. And so we entered in the hugest, only the biggest wine competition in the world. It happens in San Francisco, the San Francisco Wine Spirit Competition. And we took home bronze medal. So that happened in the month of March. Wow. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's and the power of prophecy. It's power of prophecy. And you know what? You know, it's, it's a real testimony because as a, a black owned brand, independent brand, uh, it's just a huge accomplishment to have something like that. I think it might be unprecedented. Wow, this is good. So this is my son-in-law, and um, this is great. What, so um, what you going to do this evening? This evening, there's a lot on the agenda. Uh, you know, I'm going to hang out with you, uh, Master Prophet. Yeah, and, we're going to uh, be hanging out with um, Reverend Sharpton. Um, someone just said, he looks like Cory Booker. <laughs> <laughs> People always say what you look like. That somebody else said uh, before you look like Kobe Bryant. <laughs> you know, I got, I got that this morning. We're actually, uh, my partner and I, Slaughter Joseph, we're actually out at the uh, uh, the New York Giants uh, facilities, so working out some opportunities there. It was the first thing the gentleman said, you know, you look like Kobe Bryant. So, uh, you know, so it's definitely uh, all good, all prosperous, and uh, we're just excited about the day. I'm looking forward to hanging out with you, Bishop. All right. Somebody said, oh, he's married. Yes. yes. But you have a lot of single but, but, but you have a lot of single friends, don't you? Yeah, but you know, I, I tend not to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> well we got CJ right here that's that that is single. CJ You're single? Yes sir. <laughs> Take it away, CJ. And see <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody <laughs> said uh, Bish, uh, Master Prophet, you need a dating biz. A dating biz, yes. Prophetic you think I need biz. a dating biz, CJ? Do I have a dating biz? Do you think I need one? Yes, sir. Right, you think I could I, help? I, I believe you are similar to that of uh, Steve Harvey as the love go, uh, guru. Love guru? Yes. You know, I can help you all to find really love. Um, are, are you married yet, sir? Are you married yet, Chef? Chef, they don't know if you're married. <laughs> Chef, are you married yet? Not yet. Uh, Chef said not yet. See, y'all made to put extra seasoning on the salad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's married yet. <laughs> so we got st uh, uh, a couple of single guys right here that is of the eligible age. Uh, Faith Martin said he's single. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, and CJ, how old are you? You are? I'm 28. He's 28. Okay, all right. And um, Chef? Uh, Mr. Chef said he's not available. Some lady he might, be, some lady he is seeing may be looking at him. <laughs> okay. Uh, and Mimi Green says, um, "What'd you say? Today's your birthday. Today is your birthday. Thirty-six. You're thirty-six. Oh my God! I gotta get that in my calendar. How can you only tell me?" Master J, today is the chef's birthday. They said, oh my God, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Antoinette, why did we know that? And Faith Martin is tomorrow. So Faith Martin will be on tomorrow to wish you all a happy birthday. Well, we're going to say thank you all to all of you. <laughs> and we want to say blessings to all of you. Love you. I'll talk to you all later on this evening. God bless you. Peace.